Lærers magi er både sjov og ballade og dybeste alvor. Den er sanselig kropslighed og samtidig knivskarp konceptualisme. Men først og fremmest og sidst og ikke mindst præsenterer den værker, der alle sammen vil os noget. Lærers magi. Kjermik i international samtidskunst. Lad os prøve at meditere lidt over, hvad, hvad det er for en størrelse. I slapper af. Trækker vejret dybt. Lukker øjnene. I slapper helt af. I hviler i jer selv og står med fødderne solidt placeret her på jorden og slapper helt af. Jeg vil nu sige et ord til jer. Keramik. Lad forestillingen om keramik komme til jer på nethinden og dvæl ved den. I forestiller jer en tallerken i porcelæn, som I spiser dejlig aftensmad af. I forestiller jer jeres kaffestel, som I drikker morgendagens kaffelatte af. I forestiller jer den vase af læger, som står og stråler fyldt op af forårsblomster på stuebordet. Alt det her, alt det her, det er keramik. I'm Linda Sorman, and uh, I've made this installation titled Howling Room here at Gamma Hold Go. Uh, it's been a pleasure to work in Denmark. I was invited uh, to comb the garbage dumpsters and the streets for any trash, and I brought in things from the dumpsters of the Royal National Theatre and um, also the old shipyard. So old metal bits of trash from your culture have been um, integrated into fragile ceramic bits that have um, grown around them and consumed them. And here they're overhead and I'm very interested in issues of survival and uh, the structural survival as well as the way that we structure our societies around issues of survival. It's Matthias Kessler and I'm here at GL Holdegaard Museum in the garden and I have a project there, it's called After Nature. Come and visit the Baroque garden and look at the utopia of tomorrow. Obviously we monitor the plant conductivity itself, but we have other sensors which kind of relate so we can see what's happening. So we have soil moisture, we have uh, CO2, we have ozone, so we have a lot of other sensors which are kind of giving us indication of what's going on in the greenhouse. So we're going to use a full cycle from spring to fall and monitor our plant, monitor plants in here. We're going to collect data and what happens is plants produce electricity just like we produce, like any. Uh, when the sun comes in the morning, the chlorophyll production goes on, sugar is being produced, sugar is used for growth, just like our body. And that means the conductivity goes up. So we can measure a healthy plant has a certain uh, daily uh, curve. 